What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. Um, so I did a video in the past talking about how you could use SketchUp styles to speed up your model. Um, and if you don't remember, SketchUp styles are the uh, options over here in your tray where you can uh, adjust your model uh, visibility settings. So they change everything from your background to your line weights to um, little extensions that you have on your lines for when you're modeling, uh, stuff like that. So, so like for example, if I come in here and I select uh, like this construction documentation style in uh, my tray, and if you, if you don't see styles, by the way, just go up to a window, default tray, and make sure styles is checked. Um, but you can come in here and you can select all these different styles. And then uh, as a part of the styles, uh, some of the stuff that you can do is add things like uh, extensions and endpoints. So basically things that like thicken the line at the edge of each one of your lines. And they're, they're really useful when you're modeling. But uh, the problem is what they do is they slow down your model. So you have to be really careful about uh, what style you have loaded in your model, especially as you start getting uh, more and more... Um, especially as you start getting more and more faces and points and stuff like that. So, and part of the reason for that is if you go in and you look at your model information and you look in here, you've got 392,000 edges in a house model and 158,000 faces. And so what starts happening is once you start adding things like extensions and endpoints and all of that, it means every time you, every time you rotate your model, SketchUp has to go in and add those for each one of these. Anyway, what I wanted to talk about today is something that SketchUp has in the style section so you can tell really quick which styles are fast styles. So in order to do that, just look in here in your uh, styles section on the lower right hand corner of these little tabs. Um, you see there's a little green stopwatch in here. And if you put your mouse over it, it says this is a fast modeling style. And uh, what SketchUp calls these is these are called style badges. And basically what those mean is those are the ones you can select that are going to be a lot faster. So, and usually that means that they're not modeling as many... Uh, like special line weights and stuff like that. But if if you're dealing with a big model, you can come in here and you can select one of these fast styles in here and it just loads faster. So it's just a real fast, easy way to figure out what styles are going to work a little bit better than other styles, uh, which ones are gonna run a little bit faster. And basically what happens is SketchUp just auto detects uh, which styles are gonna be faster. All right, so if you come in here and you modify an existing style, like if I take this architectural design style and I come in here and I edit it in order to um, adjust the way that things work. So if I turn like profiles off, um, what SketchUp's gonna do is it auto detects how much processing power a style is going to take and so if you look at this little icon right here if I uncheck profiles you can see what this does is this adds a little stopwatch to it and so what that means is now SketchUp saying okay well I've detected that this style that you have right here actually does count as a fast style so the original architectural design style item did not, but the one that you've created here by removing profiles is a fast style. So that means when you're coming in here and modifying these things, you can tell if something's going to be a faster style or not by whether or not SketchUp adds this little stopwatch in here. So anyway, this is just a quick, uh, easy way to come in here and select a style that's going to make your model run faster. So if you're dealing with something that uh, is running super slow, maybe give this a try and uh, see if it speeds everything up for you. And uh, the other thing that uh, you can do with this is if you save scenes with different styles in here. So if I save a second scene on a slower style, like this landscape architecture style, what I can do is I can go to my first scene which has this uh, fast style and model in that and then I can go back and select this other scene that has the other style for when I'm actually doing a presentation or when I'm actually exporting stuff or stuff like that. So you should always try to uh, model in a fast style. Um, don't ever model in a style that has a whole bunch of uh, Unless you're dealing with a big model, try not to uh, model in a style that uh, just takes up a lot of processing power because it's just going to get slow, especially when you're flying around. You're going to start getting some delay and stuff like that. So anyway, just a quick, easy way to select a style that will uh, speed up your model. And um, yeah, I hope it helps you out. 
So that's where I'm going to wrap up today's video. If you liked it, please remember to click that like button down below. I'd really appreciate it. Um, also, if you're new around here, uh, click that subscribe button. I'm coming out with new SketchUp stuff every week, and I'd love to have you along for the ride. And finally, leave a comment below. Let me know what you're doing with styles, what issues you've had with it in the past, stuff like that. I love just having a SketchUp conversation with you guys. So um, in any case, I just want to say thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.